everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a get ready with me video. This is a makeup look that I found on Pinterest and I wanted to really create this and I wanted to show you guys how I did it. If you guys want to see how I did this, please keep on watching. Okay, so first we're going to be taking our Anastasia palette in Norvina. We're going to be using the color Love as our base color for this eyeshadow look. This is such a beautiful color. I have used this color in so many of my makeup routines as a base color. Okay, so now we're going to be taking the Huda Beauty. This is the Desert Dust Palette. We're going to be using the color Saffron for the outer corner of our eyes. This is such a beautiful color that goes so well with the base color of Love. And what I'm doing is I'm just drawing a line across my eyelids and I'm emphasizing the outer corner with this color. And again, you have to blend, blend, blend. I know this looks really weird now, but trust me, with all this blending and all these different colors that we're doing, this is going to be such a beautiful eyeshadow look. Trust me. Okay, so I wanted to add even more emphasis on the outer corners of our eyes. So we're going to be using uh, the Drama Color and Passion Color from the Anastasia palette. We're going to be mixing these two together and we're going to be putting these on top of the previous color to just make it even more dramatic. Okay, so now I'm going to another brush and I'm going to be just putting on these two eyeshadow colors um, and I'm putting it close to my lash lines. Okay, so back to the Anastasia palette, we're going to be using the color Base, and I'm going to put this underneath my eyebrows to just give this color more depth. Okay, so what I really like about the Norvina eyeshadow palette is that it's very blendable. Um, I put primer and moisturizer on my eyelids, but um, blending this with my finger really, really helped. It went right into the other colors. Okay, so now with my fingers, I'm going to be putting the Iconic Morphe spray and I'm going to be using Wild Child and Rose Gold. We're going to put this on the inner eyelids. Now I didn't use a brush, I just wanted to use my fingers for this look because I found that these um, eyeshadow colors are so pigmented and it just works better with a primer and your finger.
so now I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow brush to pack this color on a bit more. Now as you guys can tell, every single time when I put on a new eyeshadow color, I'm definitely blending, blending, blending this all in. The trick is just keep blending. Okay, so now I'm taking my Kat Von D eyeliner and here we go. <laughs> I always find that this is the hardest part for me, um, you know, as you guys know and let me know in the comments. Sometimes you can have the perfect eyeliner day and sometimes you don't. So um, today, uh, it was actually going well, but I had to put this eyeliner on about two or three times to get the effect that I wanted. Okay, with a makeup wipe, I am just uh, cleaning up underneath my eyes and whatever mistakes I made on the sides. If this is just a makeup wipe that I got from TJ Maxx, um, they all do the trick. So just make sure that you wipe any excess eyeshadow that fell behind. Okay, so for this look, I wanted a full coverage foundation. So I'm taking Juvia's Place, and my color for this is Alexandria in 650. This is such a great full coverage foundation. Oh my goodness. And the color is just so beautiful. So I have a wet beauty sponge, and we are going to put some dots on our face <laughs> and blend away. If you guys are enjoying this makeup tutorial, uh, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. As you guys can tell, I am still not done with my eyes, but um, I, you're going to see uh, the reason why I'm doing this. I just needed a break from my eyes and I just wanted to uh, start my foundation and concealer routine. Okay, so now I'm going to be pushing the product in with my fingers where I see the big pores. It's literally right by my nose. Now I'm going to be taking the Age Rewind Concealer. Um, for some reason today I had dark circles underneath my eyes and this stuff really helps. So I'm pushing the product in first with my fingers and then I'm going to be using my damp beauty sponge.
Okay, so now we are going to be taking our Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder and I'm going to be baking underneath my eyes. Um, now, with this makeup tutorial, I didn't want like a glow, 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 dewy uh, foundation routine. So um, that's why I just want to make everything matte. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our eyes. We're going to be taking the Anastasia palette and we're going to be taking the color Passion and now we're going to be working the bottom part of our eyes. Okay, now we're going back to the Huda Beauty palette and we're going to be mixing Eden and Amber together um, underneath our eyes. Now with the same palette, we're going to be using Cashmere and Angelic. Angelic is such a beautiful color, both of them are, and we're going to put this in our inner corner of our eyes. I love these two colors together, they are beautiful, so beautiful. <laughs> now I told you I was going to go back to the Kat Von D eyeliner pen. Um, this is just for perfection. I just want to make the eyeliner stand out even more. Okay, so now we have to dress those lashes. <laughs> We're going to be taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. Okay, so I wanted to fast forward my eyebrows and bam, they are done. <laughs> if you guys want to know how I do my eyebrows, um, please leave a comment below and I will make a video. Okay, so now we're going to curl our lashes. Okay, so I wanted to do a light bronzing for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be taking the 
Hula bronzer and we're gonna just carve out our cheeks and anything I just wanted to contour. So this is a light contour. Okay, so now we're going to mix a highlighter and blush. This is called the Blush Lighter um, by Wet n Wild, the Hello Halo. This has actually been one of my favorite products for summer. So I'm going to just put some blush and highlighter really, really, really quick. Again, I don't want like a heavy, heavy cheek color. to make sure that the color stood in so I'm putting more of the Charlotte Tilbury powder on just to make this a matte finish okay so for my inner rims of my eyes I'm going to be taking drama from the Anastasia palette and I'm going to be putting the powder in my inner rims um, but then I'm also going to be using the Kat Von D pencil as well. Now we're taking the Maybelline, this is Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the color Rich Wine in 160. So we're going to be lining our lips and filling them in as well. Okay, now for our lip stain, we are going to be taking the Mary Kay lip stain and this is Mulberry Forest. Um, I bought this like five or six years ago, so I don't even know if they have this color anymore. Um, if they do, please let me know in the comments. But um, instead of using a lip brush, I'm going to just be applying this with my fingers. Now, um, putting the Rich Wine and this lip stain on together, um, trust me, this is going to last for a while. <laughs> you don't have to reapply um, as long as you have gloss on uh, for the rest of the night. And of course I wanted a flavor lip gloss so I'm using the vanilla birthday cake. Just two dabs and then we are done. Now I'm going to be spraying my entire face with the Morphe Jeffree Star setting spray. This smells so great. And here we have it, our transformation. I absolutely love how the eyeshadow colors all blended in and it blends in perfectly with this beautiful lip color. 
Alright guys, I hope you liked this makeup tutorial. Please hit that subscribe button and like and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.